going to work. Let's get you on that there tripod. Uh, let's see if the knife making pixies came last night and sorted out these handles for me. No, they didn't. <laughs> what a surprise, what a surprise. These are four I uh, epoxied up last night, last job. These are, two of these are the Hamon knives, the WT Hamon knives. And two are some OR bushcraft knives, which I heat treated initially along with these on that first video with Hamon's, Hamon's. So today will be all about shaping, uh, sanding and finishing these four knives. I've got some bog oak with a red liner, I've got some ash, a beautiful spalted gnarly piece of ash on a black liner and I've got two mystery woods here which I found in a big pile of wood a few years ago. I've used this one before, it is beautiful. I don't really know what it is because the wood was stripped bare, rotting, partially rotted. Uh, they're both on black liners though. All these have been stabilised, even the bog oak, because that was pretty gnarly when I got it. I'll get on my grinder now, get them cleaned up. hour on the grinder refining them just getting them to roughly the shape I want so now it's hand sand hand sanding hand finishing we'll get that. everything smoothed out and evened up and just get it all looking beautiful I need to go and make a brew first pouring down again so with my brew I'm having some uh, <clears throat> some of my bounty from the garden. Oh, look at that beautiful thing. The nicest pears I have ever eaten. So juicy and sweet. I tell you what, guys, that was so sweet. I'm gonna have to put another sugar in my tea, I think. See what this bog oak doesn't half rip this paper to pieces. I'll sometimes use the file on these as well, which I'm going to do on that pin. <clears throat> Just flattens the pins off really nicely. There's paper. Paper can tend to <clears throat> Cut into the wood more and you end up with the pins raised. But you can focus the file directly on the pin and just take the pin down, just flush with the surface, create a little flat spot around the pin and then sand to it. Give it a rounded back to get the, uh, the lanyard pin. I've done sanding, uh, it's cleaning up now with micro mesh. 
polishing the wood ready for a coat of oil before I do this I do several treatments of water which opens up the grain and raises the grain and sanding and repeating same kind of cycle it leaves a lovely finish just ready for oil I use two types of oil um, I like this uh, Birchwood Casey gun oil though it's more of a matte finish and it does take a bit longer to dry than the true oil and it's a bit more expensive than true oil but it doesn't dry as fast so it does tend to soak into the wood better it gives you a nicer finish really overall like a more of a satin than a gloss finish this stuff if you just leave that on there flooded on the surface like that and let it dry it will leave a horrible sticky mess so I'll generally leave it about three or four minutes and then I'll wipe it off but what I do before then is I just go over it rubbing it rub it, rubbing it rubbing it rubbing it in the pores the friction from doing this actually dries the oil as well makes it start going tacky but it, it ensures that all those little pores and open bits of grain are filled with oil it just rubs it rubs the tack as the oil starts tacking off it kind of pushes them in as well and it, you usually need three to four coats of this oil to the, the bog oak ones anyway to fill the grain in And that gets to sit now for till tomorrow really and I'll, I'll do it I'll do the same again just put some oil on rub it in sand it off I'll do a very light sand on this with 2000 grit paper before I oil it tomorrow as well so now yes it's number two this is the ash one and uh, same procedure again guys go I'm actually gonna take the file to this one more than sanding because this stuff is really tough this this ash so see you at the end again I'm just uh, wetting the grain on the there that is gonna look beautiful that handle I'm just wetting the grain just to raise the grain before I give it its last uh, sanding oh yeah that is gonna look so nice it really is I am just putting the oil on the ash handle still two knives to do I've been at this now for about three and a half hours this is the third one micro meshing this ready for oil I do like this wood I really do I have no idea what it is as I said it, uh, it came from a big firewood pile I've called it blonde wood <laughs> Yes, I love that. Beautiful. See guys, you just never know what is hiding in the wood pile. Ooh. Ooh. Last one. Last one. Um again another mystery wood and I'm not sorry now at this time of day that it is the last one <laughs> well guys I actually ran out of time so I went in and made my tea and I come back out on the night shift so I'm about what an hour in just finishing off this one so that has been a full day um, on these handles now I quite enjoy doing them when I'm doing them but towards the end when I do so when I do do sort of four knives I'm really glad to see the back of them you know um, but this wood this particular wood um, which I thought was possibly the least showy of all the four pieces it's come out really nice and like I say I just don't know what it is I really don't know what it is Put some oil on that I wanted to finish these tonight because I wanted I, I just want to get them all through the oiling process again tomorrow 
I didn't want one of the knives to be playing catch up you know for the next couple of days while I oil them so uh, yeah it's important that I get them get them all done at the same time yeah that is really nice that really nice if you've got any ideas drop me a note in the comments guys because it will have to be handle unknown <laughs> it's listing when I come to sell it I'm just going to give that a rubbing and a wipe off now and I'll bring you back and then I can show you today's results and what I'm going to do tomorrow well that is it guys I'm calling it a night I am clocking off or calling it a day should I say uh, I have noticed there's a few little microscopic scratches here still in these woods there's a there's a little patch there that wants sanding there's uh, there's another one somewhere on that side I think no is it the other one it's that one there a little patch there just wants sanding but that's okay um, I'm gonna go over these again tomorrow with some 800 paper so that's it Tomorrow I'll be doing the leather work for these and another knife, a little folding knife. I'm going to make a sheath for that as well. And uh, you can see the final reveal on these knives guys when they go in the sheaths. Okay, thanks for watching and thanks to all my patrons. I'll see you all soon guys. Bye for now.